So here we go. We still got, oh, fuck, I don't know. A fair bit of profile. Lots, actually. So we're going to mix up some buckets. Um, haven't had time to come in here. You can see, inside's all done. Uh, I gotta grind, but I'm not gonna grind until I get this one done. These are our patches because of these air pockets that we had, so we we weren't happy with those, so we cut around until we could get the, the wood delaminate off the plywood. And now we're putting these patches in here. Uh, you can see I got my heater going in here. Um, that's all fared off. All the way up, you can see the white muck. That's how the profil dries, white. Uh, the Profil is just as good as a bonding agent as the anti-sag is, but I'll tell you what, the Profil sags. So we finally got this all figured out. Um, it's actually really nice and warm in here. It's probably, oh, we're going to have to put the thermometer in. It's probably 20 degrees in here. Anyway, uh, so then we got this patch that we're going to do here right now. Um, basically, you can see it's all ground out. Ground. Everything's ready. Uh, a lot of holes there. We're, we're going to drill a couple more holes actually at the bottom so I can see that stuff gype out of there and in the middle. I want to make sure that all this laminates. You can see right there, that is one piece right against that transom. So we cut all around where the air bubbles were and then beyond. You can see the plywood here is delaminated there all the way down and across the top. So we're going to probably put I would say a half a liter of gype in there so that we don't have to do this again. So a half a liter of gype and then we'll get uh, one of the kids in here and hold the that patch up against it and I'll drive screws through it just like we did over there and the whole transom and uh, suck that in until we see it squirting out of all these holes. That's why we're drilling the holes so we can see it squirting out so that we know we have bondage, no air gaps, total solidity and then we're going to take quarter inch or three eighths plywood because this is a massive transom on this one and to get it in here was probably one of the hardest squeezes that I did and that's half of the problem. It took me so long to get it up after I tried the stuff on that it wasn't anti-sag and it really buggered me. Anti-sag would have hung right there where I put it. This stuff drooped all to the bottom and then hardened. So. That's why we're going to all these lengths, so I'm going to tell you right now, use any seg. Anyhow, that's what we're doing. Uh, I don't have any grinding to do, any prep work to do, everything's been cleaned. And uh, we're going to stick that in there. And then uh, start cutting our next, uh, our next piece, which is right there. And we have the template underneath all this stuff. So we'll get that little piece glued in there, get all the fairing done, and uh, get glass in here, find the respirator, that's the most important part. I think everything's in the boat, but uh, yeah, so we'll get back at you as soon as we can, and go from here. It's about 5 o'clock in Lake Cowichan, we're at about 12 degrees, it's probably 22 inside of there, and Fahrenheit that would be it's 69, 70 inside the boat. And probably 58 outside. Well, yeah, there you go, guys.